the reason you continue to watch me is because when I ramble, it's not conspiracy theory nonsense. And I'm not going to pass it off to you like it's the truth. I could be wrong. But when I do come, even with a uh -uh, so-called conspiracy theory, I won't just yell in your face like Sneeko. Just a bunch of random buzzwords. I'm going to tell you straight up. Now, the reason, my personal opinion, you can make you wrong. But the reason I make the argument, or I see a little bit of truth in the argument, that Paul LaRue is Satoshi Nakamoto, the dude who uh, invented Bitcoin. So far, I've said what? I'm going to make this quick because we got to do this story. We've said that he wrote E4M, which is an encryption uh, software, pretty much used as the foundation of such softwares, such as TrueCrypt with Snowden, Eddie. And um, he also wrote a bunch of, of, of online casinos, some successful, some not. Nonetheless, this was... Uh, uh, one of the earliest forms, and people usually point to online gambling sites, the earliest uh, way to prove that, hey, this is real, this is a currency, it can actually function, and it's real, it's not BS, was the online gambling sites. Like, you got a bunch today, I don't even want to name them, because I don't support that idea. I don't support you gambling. But there's a bunch. The next reason is uh, he actually had a need to uh, uh, maybe, let's say, stash money. You know, Bitcoin and gold are very similar in the way they, they, they... I mean, Bitcoin, one can argue that Bitcoin is gold in the digital, uh, digital uh, form. And before Bitcoin came, Bitgold, and he actually had a reason to stash money in case uh, uh, <clears throat> the men in black came knocking, okay? So uh, why would the men in black come knocking? I'm going to tell you. Let's just get into it. Because this story, I've seen some articles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot the most important part. Now, I'm going to ask you to look at the screen real quick. So look here real quick. This is a picture of a passport, not a fake one, because he did use fake ones later on in the story. We'll get to that. But this is a passport of the OG Pa LaRue. If you take a look here, given into consideration... The points I've mentioned. He has a need to. He has the know-how. He actually wrote very similar things to it. And he, they all kind of were based on decentralization and protection from, quote-unquote, Big Brother or, quote-unquote, the man, government, whatever. Fight the power. You know what I'm saying? So he had, he had that in him. And the know-how. Not many people... I know a bunch of goofies, okay? No disrespect. They went to school. They send up their bragging belt. Yeah, man. I got this degree in this language. Shut up. If I ask you to do something right now, oh, I can't even, I don't know that language. We're talking about a genius here. It's not too many of them. Okay. A genius. He had the know-how, and he was said to, if he don't know the language... He'd learn it in one day. People like this, you don't see them everywhere. Moving on. Look at the picture here at the passport. The name of the mysterious creator of Bitcoin was what? What was that? Say it again, I couldn't hear you. Right. Satoshi Nakamoto. Look at this passport. His name is Pa. Solotoshi Calder LaRue. Do I got to say it again for you? 
this is just my theory, guys. But not many people got the know-how, got the the need to, the money, you feel me? The reasons to actually publish it and not attach their name to such a, a, a masterpiece of code. Like, you understand, bro? When I make a song, right? Or a beat or a YouTube video, I put my tag on it. You understand? I want you to know I did that. But if I'm making a thousand beats or whatever, at some point it's like, yeah, I don't really care. I'm just making beats. I'm making hella songs. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. All right, if you really dig, you'll find. I don't care too much about attaching a name to it if it's regular to me. You understand? To him, writing such a beautiful uh, a masterpiece, a, a, a Beethoven symphony of computer code, to him it was just another Tuesday or whatever day, right? So he ain't even cared too much. He, he wanted to hide, matter of fact, okay? Had to hide his name, hide his money, and hide his uh, 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 <clears throat> baddies, Asian <laughs> finest sweeties out in the Philippines, okay? But that's none of my business. I just wanted to let you know his real name is Paul Satoshi. Moving on. Now, in my opinion, Polly Salatoshi could have chilled out and lived ha happily ever after. But I think the divorce, actually the, the, the adoption part got to him. Because, hey, listen, <laughs> if we divorce, baby girl, I'm blocking you on the ground, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And then I'm hitting the, especially if I'm in the Philippines, some sweeties with the small eyes. Konnichiwa. Ooh. Oh, le, I'm going to stretch you. Let me chill up. Stretch her out like exercise, guys. Okay, this is the house of knowledge. We don't speak that such buffoonery and coonery in here. And, 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 and what was the word? Profanity. Okay. So, Polly, it weighed on him finding out that he was uh, adopted. To the point where he had all the money in the world, the gold bars, and the golden <laughs> from the club at the bar. But he was like, nah, son, I'm adopted. They left me in the rain, but I'm a stormtrooper. I'm going to show them. So he starts selling bricks. One thing led to another. All right. But this is where it all started before we get to the bricks. This is back in the call center. I'm talking RX Limited. Remember that genius pioneer idea? So he got many genius ideas. This is back where, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, at his baby. Okay, when you make such a genius thing, that's your baby. Yeah? Even though it's a uh, uh, borderline uh, uh, half legal, half illegal, it's still your baby. So... A major turning point started off with him around the time he found out and whatnot. 2008. You remember how he moved out there and he linked up with his Israeli friends he met online. The businessman, the business partners. And he laid down this genius idea and they joined in. Now they start thinking, like, damn, bro, we got a genius idea on our hands, what do we need him for? So they, you know, they did what you shouldn't do to a man like uh, 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 him. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Dude. You shouldn't do that anyway, whether it's business, friends, whatever. People did that to me, but I'm the source. They couldn't find no better ideas after. He should have let it go, but he said, nah, son. He found out the Israeli business partners were considering, just considering, they didn't do it yet, uh, 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 running a separate company identical to RX Limited. But the difference is it don't include Polly. That's just their thing. They're like, F you, Polly. 
Hmm. Polly said, you know what? Okay, that's how you feeling? Okay. So he held a meeting on a yacht. All right. He's sitting in the yacht walking pacing. Can't even enjoy the ocean. He think about this betrayal. All right. He like, damn, man. Uh, he's sitting with one of the men. Uh, 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 men like, uh, I'm just saying in the UK, man like him, man like, man like David Smith, the shooter. All right, the Z. And, uh, uh, and he's sitting with one of the Israelis. But his, his gangster kicked in. I guess he watched Scarface or something because he told, hey, Dave. Throw that B A N off the boat. Is it any man like, no, no, please. I am I am friends with the swindler. Don't throw. Threw him in the water. Straight like uh, Suge Knight or, or some out of a movie. Threw him in the middle of the water and, and you know, had him drowning. Polly, that was his first. Uh, at least that we know of. Taste of such uh, of blood, really. Not really blood in this case, because maybe water. That's messed up, right? Uh, forgive me, guys. Don't unsubscribe, please. I'm a chill. So he had the Dave, the, the hitter, throw the man off the boat and watch him drown. But he was like, nah, son, you know what? I'm not a monster. What am I doing? Dave, go get him back. So he spared his life. He said, yep, he saved his life. He took, he like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take your life, bro. But he warned him. He said he would be pew, 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 if he pursued this new business or try to do some F-ish like that again. Now, Pa. You know, funny thing about it, Paul had him, uh, 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 yo, Dave, go hit this guy, pew, pew, pew. go get that guy, pew, pew, pew. throw him off the boat. Whole time, the, the, you know, he felt like people were stealing from him, but the biggest uh, thief from, from his wealth, guess who it was? It was David Smith. Yep. Still, not just money, cash, gold, you name it. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be the closest ones. You know, Hassan Campbell says, "Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you." Let's get to that. <laughs> hey, yo, you made it this far? Hit the like button, smash subscribe before I come out the screen. Smash something else. Oh, the. Now, oh boy, get ready. Story just keeps getting juicier and juicier. So, he became very paranoid, especially after the whole Israeli, uh, uh, you know, treason, treasonous uh, uh, idea that they had over there. They didn't even execute, they just talked about Ayo. So Polly felt, you know, alone, especially given the whole mental situation that I spoke about with him discovering he was uh, adopted and, you know, the family he knew his whole life. You know, mom and dad lives in mom and dad. He didn't know how to take it. And I think, and you know, I don't like to speak on mental health, but something snapped in him. If somebody steal a hundred bands from you, it hurts. Like let's say a stranger stole a hundred bands from you, complete stranger. You don't know him. He don't know you. It sucks, but it's whatever. It's a thief. It won't hurt you deeply, unless because it's a stranger. It will hurt you though, coming from someone like your 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 top, you know, right hand man. Like David Smith, someone you had so much trust and, 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 and 
I'd say a little bit of love because, hey, listen, love and trust go hand in hand, bro. Love isn't just for your girlfriend. Love could be for your brother, for your for your top shooter. Okay, now if you live that life, I advise you to not do that, brother. Okay, no cash or Rico out here. Look at Young Thug. First you get the money, then you get the power. Well, he got the power. <laughs> oh, the, he don't got the power to leave jail. So check this out. Polly said, you know what? He hired a new hitman. And he hired this new hitman and told him to pop his uh, ex at this point. Ex number one hitman. Ex best friend. Ex right hand man, David Smith. All right. But the way he did it, he ain't do it um on like uh you know go pull up boom 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 it is what it is. nah son he had to get personal with him I think he watched too many movies cause this is how it happened it reminds me of Breaking Bad or Better Call Saw how this played out so Pa imagine this Pa standing he got his new hit man. Okay, him and his new guy, he forced David to dig his own grave. He made him dig it, forced him to. And once the grave was dug, they both took turns at him. They took turns uh, aiming at him and, and squeezing, yeah. They took turns popping him. Ratata. It's your turn. Ratata. And it's literally like breaking bad. I guess they finished burying and left or not. Who knows? And from this point on, Paul had a deep hatred of being stolen from. My dear viewer, you know, I always give you the story and the information with the lesson to be taken from it. Now, I don't know if anybody watching me got Paula Roo money currently, or maybe not currently. I see you guys, a lot of you rap and do your thing, play basketball, whatever you do. Maybe you're just a hustler like me. So, you know, statistically speaking, Somebody watching this is going to be a millionaire. Maybe Paula Rube million type of millionaire. Maybe you're going to make one million. Maybe even if you had six figures to your name. You're going to get to a point, expect to be stolen from. Like, I don't even have nowhere near. And I've been stolen from. It's just statistics. How you go about it is... If you go around trying to punish those who steal from you, you're only punishing yourself. Like, I'm not going to go pop you over it, bro. Like, all right? Especially, like, especially, it's not like we were both in a cartel. Like, he was popping, uh, 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 you know, uh, civilians, all right? It's not like we both gangbang or we both, you know. Uh, some kind of cartel together. You know, David's in the dirt at this point. All right. He ain't David Smith. He John Doe. <laughs> oh, the... So, two female real estate agents, bodies turn up. These two female real estate agents... Uh, uh, what they have in common is, well, one, they're female, okay? They listen to Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, no, this is 2000-something. Early, too early. Another thing they have in common, no, not feminism. <laughs> and no, not Asian. They could be, I don't know. But get this, let me stop playing with you. They both had dealings or deals, real estate deals. 
with Mr. Satoshi Nakamoto LaRue. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.